Hey guys, it's Ashton. And it's John. What up guys? We're back with another reaction video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to Sinclair C5 Infomercial 1985. This is from the channel CL vs. Jaguar. Go and check it out. Um, the person who suggested this was Mac. Mac, thank you so much for the support. You guys can also help support our channel. If you guys donate $10, we'll even let you select the next video we react to. Keep it under 10 minutes though. Include the video link, title, and your email. We'll get that posted within 2-4 to four days on average. And let's get to the video. The biggie. Oh, oh, oh. Sinclair vehicles. C5. The Sinclair C5. A whole new way to get about. Oh, yeah. A safe, reliable, pollution free electric vehicle which can be driven on Sorry. the road by anyone, 14 and over. <laughs> That's a good idea though. It's like a moped pretty much. Traffic compatible mode of transport that will carry you up to 20 miles on one battery, giving a thousand miles for the cost of a gallon of petrol, safely and reliably at 15 miles an hour. It's the ideal vehicle for the whole family. For commuters, it's a quick and easy way Your to get to the station. Your whole family can't fit in there. <laughs> Fifteen miles per hour. So I at Say you about my max running speed, just slightly under. I, this is what it's going at. You can't run fifteen miles an hour. I can run sixteen miles an hour. How do you know? Because you can on the treadmill, you can up the speed. One in Austin goes to like I think fifteen or sixteen. It's ridiculous. And if you can keep up with it, which I don't know if that's real statistics, but what, honey? Okay, guy, hold on, honey. But still, 15 miles per hour, and it can take you 20 miles off of one hour's worth of battery charge. Yeah, I suppose that, like, just, just for getting around town, it'd be okay. Yeah, but just think if you were trying to go on vacation. Yeah, you could not go to town on this thing. You'd miles get stranded and pace. die. It's very economical, and parking couldn't be easier. With a seating height the same as a family car, mm -hmm. visibility is extremely good all round. For that quick trip to the shops, the C5 they not wear seat belts while they're in, though? Effort. The large What's capacity the point? boot gives plenty of space for know. all your purchases. For young people, right, too, the C5 is ideal. Three wheels and a low center of gravity make it very safe and stable. And there is no better way for young people... Doesn't even get signals built into it. Ah. Sense <laughs> and confidence. Included with your well, this wasn't 85, so this was 32 guide, years ago, or 33 years ago. the Royal ago. Society for the Prevention of Accidents. That's true. New legislation means that no road tax or license are required. Insurance is not compulsory, but is available at specially negotiated rates through a leading insurance company. Prudential the Sinclair C5 is a fun vehicle for all the family. It's easy to drive. It's quiet, exhilarating, and extremely safe. Simply turn the master security key switch on top of the battery. Press the button for a smooth burst of power and you're away, enjoying a new sense of freedom on the road. The steering bar falls easily to hand, giving you precise, accurate control and extraordinary maneuverability. For safe, controlled stopping power, just squeeze both brake levers at once and the rear drum and front caliper brakes will bring you smoothly to a halt. For extra safety. Okay, I gotta say, so far, I like the idea of it, but, like, why not just get a moped? True. That's got Mommy, signals. Like yeah, hold on, I gotta finish this, okay? Um, but the fact that it doesn't have signals, that's a big security, like, or safety risk. Because you look at how the person's holding the steering wheel underneath their legs. Yeah, that's... And then to signal while you're trying to turn it with the other side, that would make an unequal sense of, like, equilibrium. So it'd be, like, it leaning over. It is kind over. of odd that the things, the steering wheel's down there. Because that, like, I feel like that would get in the way. Your legs would get in the way or something would happen. I don't know. That's just kind of odd. I like the idea of it. Just having a nice little efficient vehicle to get around town. But it's like, that's what a moped's for. Yeah. Safety at night. Lights, both front and rear, are molded into the C5's body. But not blinker lights. switch under the seat. Instruments have been simplified as well. Two easy to read LED displays show motor load and battery condition. So, what went wrong? The Sinclair C5 is safe, durable, 
and simple to maintain. Okay. As with Lotus sports cars, it consists principally of two components. Okay. Chassis and body. That's it. The Y configuration chassis was developed and tested in conjunction with Lotus and is made from corrosion protected steel. It's light so and very steel. strong. And as one would expect with its pedigree, its design ensures stability at speed. The aerodynamic shape of the body was perfected in an extensive wind tunnel testing program. The body goes 15 moldings miles are per formed hour. in tough, durable polypropylene <laughs> and are completely corrosion. Like, why'd you do that? The light body color, the high reflection tape along the sides and on wheel covers, and the high-vis mast with front and rear reflectors ensure that the C5 is very conspicuous at night. What? At the very heart of the C5... What? I just wondering why I hear running water. It's the cat drinking. It's in the kitchen, I don't know. It's huh. probably the dog dripping in the bathroom. Oh, Jesus, don't say that. <laughs> Five's exceptional design is the revolutionary battery and motor combination. This is such the a quiet commercial, too. It's especially it developed deep discharge. It can be charged and discharged hundreds of times, and it is guaranteed by the manufacturer for 12 months. That's it. Using these special charger supplied with your C5, this will last charging year, can be carried out probably. in position, or the battery can be removed using its own carrying handle. Did it tell us? Eight Not hours yet. is sufficient to completely recharge a discharge battery. Eight hours? Sinclair vehicles have produced a range of special C5 accessories and driving aids. Oh my god. Aerodynamically styled wing mirrors complement the C5 superb design. If you intend to use your C5 frequently in heavy traffic, indicators are available. Oh, they do have indicators For wet available. weather, there are side panels in a range of colors. And a designer-styled weather cheater to keep you warm and dry. That's kind of cool. A tonneau yeah, cover is. and mud flaps are also available. But, like, how would you see through For that? For long-distance comfort, there is a soft but firm seat liner. A seat booster pad is available for the smaller driver. An additional battery will double the range of your C5. Available from your local Sinclair battery center with carrying handle and simple fitting kit, it fits neatly into the right seat well. Your C5 has been designed to give you years of reliable use. Service will be carried out by Hoover. Just a phone call. You've got to wonder, okay, so Hoover Vacuum Services is the one that... That's kind of strange. Just... The fact is, though, why wouldn't you have the blinkers already on there, or the rain guard, right. or the seat cover? That should all be mandatory stuff on even the most baseline of any of these things. And then Hoover Service is the one who's going to come and help you with your Sinclair C5. That's that sketchy kinda... right there, because that <laughs> shit sucks. Get it? Call will bring one of their mobile fleet of specially trained engineers to your door. The Sinclair C5. For shopping. For commuting. For just getting out and about. For young people to learn how to use the road conveniently, economically, and safely. So it's 399 um, pounds. So it would cost $510 here. In today's one, market? For one of those, yeah. So back then, in the in eighty five, that'd be probably worth just shy of double, I'd say, based off of inflation. So in today's market, that'd probably be around eight to nine hundred dollars, probably around eight fifty for one of those. Yeah. That's not bad though. In for something to get you around town, when you're fourteen at your first job. That's not bad. In 2017, there's an article that the Sinclair C5 is reborn. 1980s electric tricycle gets 21st century update from inventor's nephew. That looks cool, actually. That looks really, really cool. Show them a picture of it. Lighten it up. I don't know if my phone's going to die, but Look at there's that. Thing. that. That looks sli slick. There's also that. I hope you guys can see it. Um, that is really cool, though. I like the idea a lot, guys, because, like, for someone who's 14 where they don't apply, like, the same, like, r rules and regulations like a normal vehicle does where, you know, younger kids can get them and they're cheaper, that's something, like, 
if you're just started out working, you know, you could save that up in two, three paychecks, depending on where you're working at, and well, buy it out flat. Well, yeah, but they these ones are more expensive, you got to assume. I mean, for back in the day, that would right, have been like saving up $800 then, now, which you could do that in two, three paychecks. The new ones are about $4,400, $4,476. So that's a little bit more unrealistic. 3,500 you pounds. You, you could, could just it. get a cheap car for that. Right. But that's really cool, though. I wonder how fast these ones go. You guys, look what you make me do. Now I'm sitting here like... Wondering about getting a C5. Huh? Wondering about getting a C5. Nah. I'm not wanting to get one, no. but this one goes 30 miles per hour. Ooh, that's, see, that's city limits right there. Yeah. Hey. What are you doing? Bring it here. Bring it here. Okay, we gotta finish this. We get You're not gonna bring that whole thing in the bedroom, honey. Let us finish this quick, honey. Sorry, it. children. We have been gone all day, so she's kind of hyper. A, she's apparently hungry for King's Hawaiian buns. Who ate, isn't? You should have ate your food earlier. These ones are really soft. She's been sucking on both of her lips now. Yeah, you need to quit licking put your some lips, Zoe. On them. Here, you, you keep going like this. That's hurting them. Here's another one. <laughs> she's like. Get out of here, you little butthead. All right, let's finish this. The Sinclair C5. A whole new way to get about. It's pretty cool his nephew reinvented it, though. Yeah, it is. It's a great idea, but... You know what else is great? These things. If you haven't tried these and Those you have them in your local stores, try them. Put some butter on it and then put it in the microwave. Yes. Okay, so let's talk about where they went wrong, though. This well, is where we really get into you this. You gotta remember, it wasn't '85, which was 33 years ago. Mm -hmm. So you gotta give them credit for where, or back then, where they were at. You know, like credit where credits do I get it for the time? It was right. awesome. Right. But the price. Okay, so eight hundred and fifty bucks. We'll say it's around there. It could be one hundred and fifty bucks each direction. Five hundred and ten. I know, but in today's market, I'm saying like I'm trying to give them something to relate to because they can't relate to the same minimum wage. Yeah, gap. but I don't know if that um me if that's how much they cost today or like if you were to try and find one and buy one or if that was like brand new back then. I'm not sure what that number oh. meant. Okay, well let's say it was back then. If it's back then, you know, still eight hundred fifty bucks. Back in the 80s is when you could find super cheap used vehicles for three, four hundred dollars you could get a decent running used vehicle. Like my dad did that multiple times when he was a kid where he'd just say, yeah, I spent three, four hundred dollars on this little Pinto and it got me around for about another 60, 70, 80,000 miles. It's like, you know, obviously that's the more effective route to go because it's a higher speed vehicle and hold a lot more, even though it's not efficient. Could you picture your dad riding around in one of them? <laughs> those things? Oh my God, no. <laughs> Never. Me neither. Um, the idea of it is great, but it wasn't cost efficient. Even I that, want one even, of those new ones. Even only being like five hundred bucks back then or whatever, the fact of what you could have got for five hundred bucks in comparison to this electric powered eight hours to charge. What if you had somewhere to go? I I it's charging. I don't know what to do. Uh -huh. And it only lasts what a couple hours? It said. Like one hour, I think. It gets you 20 miles on one battery. That's horrible. That's not... That's like your daily errands, maybe, depending on how far around town you're going to be running. Hey, it had a good storage department, though. Like, you go to the... Go, go, I can't even talk. You could go to the grocery store. You get your, like, a few things of groceries. You get one bag. It no. only opened that far. You've seen it. She opened it to max length. It was that It much. was actually deep. Yeah, but... Go was, back and look. And it held that. It barely held that guy's suitcase. Yeah. It was probably big. I'm guessing it could hold about the equivalent Three bags of, of groceries. two gallons of milk. I would not uh, say you could even fit milk into the, the slot, but the internal space is probably around the size of two gallons of milk. Are you sure? Yeah, it did not open up like wide. Just trying to go back and look, guys. I keep talking. Um, but then, okay, another place that went wrong was the fact. Okay, here it is. She's, she's mm. going to show it. Let's pop it back up for him real quick. No, stop for a second. Hold on. You're probably right. Okay, guys, we're going to pop it up right here. So this is the storage space of this thing, which is absolutely atrocious. Shops. The C5 will save you time. Much bam. 
Nodge yeah. right there. It hit. You could tell that it hit Max because she pulled back and it snuck. That's only about that wide. You couldn't fit milk in there. Yeah, you could not fit a gallon of milk in there. You could fit. I'm. What I'm saying is that that space is probably about the size of what two gallons of milk is for like total volume. But you'd only be able to fit two grocery bags, and they're smaller grocery bags, you know, about the size of a gallon of milk, in there max. And she puts this very small bag full of like probably two cans, an apple, and a banana or something in there. And it looks like it's taking up almost half the space. Yeah. Um, so that's atrocious because I think it'd be more for kids. It'd be a good something good to get your kids that's safe and teach them like the road. Um, but then the other part where it goes wrong, no blankers. You could get the extended or the extra package that cost you more. There's nothing to protect you from the rain, so if it just started downpouring, you're not protected. And then there was no padding in the seat. You know how uncomfortable that would be? Five mile ride across town. Oh, God, that'd be gross. Anyway, guys, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell us your thoughts on the C5, and we'll catch you in the next oh, video. Oh, you traitors. Peace.